Hi friends, I thought I would get on here and give a brief update. It was tugging on my heart and um, a lot's been going on since I got back from uh, the Yosemite, which was so amazing. Um, and I started um, 4th of July evening, started getting a headache and a um, little sore throat. Thought I had a cold, but on um, Thursday, I was gonna go um, bike riding with a friend and I thought, you know, maybe I should just take a COVID test. And sure enough, I was positive. And I don't, some of you may remember exactly last year around this time. It was actually the 28th of July, Joe came out with a fever and we started experiencing the COVID um, quarantine and testing and him going to the hospital. So it's in three weeks, it will be its marker. Mind you, the Saturday, July 10th, 2022, it is our, our ceremony. We had our uh, 28th uh, wedding anniversary. And if you look back behind me, this is where we were going to have our ceremony. And um, we did change at the last minute because it was July and it was super hot that July in 1994. So we decided to have it at my mom's church. But anyways, I'm going through a lot of emotions, but knowing God, what what's going on? So I um, went yesterday and got monoclonal antibodies. I would love to hear your guys' views on monoclonal antibodies. Um, I have a great clinic that I go to and they actually explain what monoclonal antibodies do. What it does is when you get the infusion, it stops the replication of the bad cells. Why aren't they telling us this? Um, and I look back this was around back when Joe and I was sick last year, but it was not an option. They were prescribing rodezomir, which we know for sure that it does not work. And um, we know that HCQ, hydrochloroquine, and um, ivermectin works with zinc, which what I heard opens up your cells, kills the virus. And so, um, these protocols that we are finding underground because someone doesn't want us to know. And I'm here to say, hey, if we had these um, protocols of steps to getting people better, a lot of people wouldn't die. Now I'm a Christian and I know God numbers our days and he has a perfect plan, but I wouldn't be giving this message possibly if my husband survives. So I want to be that advocate and say, hey, there is a great protocol where people don't have to die and um, we could get the correct treatment. And so other than that, I am feeling fine. I got monoclonal antibodies, I feel great. I, ha I feel like I have a little cold, taking all the correct medication. Um, and so I'm on day five. And um, I just want to actually, it's interesting, if you see my hat, evolution versus God. Um, I want to put out there that, you know, without God, there is no hope. We die and nothing. But you stand on the foundation of the Bible and we know that there is life after death. My husband is in heaven and we need to be more concerned about where we're going to go when we die and not just that what are we doing here on earth to tell others about jesus it's so essential this world is an uproar a chaotic mess and there's still good things happening and we can't live in fear but we have to live in wisdom and the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and so um I just say that science is knowledge and uh, that there is science out there that proves to get people better 
and if I had um, all the resources I have today, my husband would still be here. But um, I do have those resources now and I am sharing that with you. You take aspirin too, um, that helps and even melatonin helps with the lungs. But this, um, if you get all the correct protocol um, medication, you should be fine. But one thing I do say, I will not go to the hospitals. Um, they have to follow the CDC guidelines and Fauci, and they're still doing that. So I will um, use my own resources. And aside from that, we need to um, focus on the things of God, do the Great Commission, share truth of the Bible and the salvation message, and don't waste your time. Wasted time, wasted life is what does that do? God has an assignment for us and we must fulfill it in the name of Jesus. God bless you guys.